guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new on this channel, my name is Chiso and I'm a software engineer and YouTuber based in Lagos, Nigeria. If you're not new, good to have you back. Today we're going to be looking at non-coding roles in tech that do not require coding and most likely pay more than some software engineering roles that we already know. So yeah, let's get to it. The first one is UI slash UX designers. UI slash UX stands for user interface and user experience. So if you're looking at an application and you're seeing some certain kind of designs like buttons, layouts, and all those details on the design of your application, it's probably a UI UX designer that worked on it. So some people confuse UI UX with product design. I feel like they're not the same thing, but they have like similarities with quite a few differences as well. So UI UX designers would care more about if the design is user friendly, while a product designer would be caring more about if design is cost effective. So product designers look a bit more into like the business value, the cost and the brand. So depending on the company that you're working in, your roles might be intertwined. You might be referred to as a product designer and you can also be referred to as a UI UX designer. So it depends as well. So if you're someone who loves design or if you're someone that was in the graphics design space or brand design space and you want to come to the tech space to develop designs that like are software related designs, UI UX slash product design is something I feel you should check out. So the next show we're going to be looking at is product management. Product managers are responsible for bringing a product from the idea phase to the main product, the actual product, right? So product managers are in charge of a couple of things like ideating, setting out deliverables and success metrics for a particular product. Product managers work hand in hand with stakeholders, engineers, um, customers to make sure that what they are building is going to be beneficial to the profit margin of the company. So as a product manager, you're going to be iterating over a certain product, you're going to be giving feedback to customers, you're going to be setting out deliverables like I mentioned, and tax as well, and also setting out timelines for a certain product. So if you have a product manager or if you're a product manager working in a team, you're going to be making sure that that product goes from start to finish and it passes all the tests that you are going to set for it, like success metrics. In companies, there are certain kind of product managers like business product managers who understand why the product is coming to be and what should the product be. And we have technical product managers who want to know how the product is going to be built and also the technical things related to it. So it depends on the company you join, you can either be a business product manager or a technical product manager. As a product manager, you're going to be doing a lot of collaboration with teams, communicating, and knowing how to manage teams perfectly. So if you're someone that loves working with people in a very effective manner, this role, product management, is something you should check out. Now, the third non-coding tech role we're going to be talking about is tech sales. Tech sales is something that is not too common, but a lot of people are venturing into. So if you're someone that's coming from the marketing department, tech sales is something well, tech sales is a field in the tech space that I would advise that you could go into. Tech sales is all about bringing your customers to the company to patronize a certain product or to adopt a certain product in their company. People that are tech sale experts usually are very, very informed about the product before they go about marketing this product or selling it. You will see tech sales people going for conferences, going for demos, and going for things that would help them engage with customers better. People that are into tech sales are usually tied to the revenue of a company. So you see people that are into tech sales getting some certain kind of commission when they make a sale for a particular product. People that are in tech sales are usually very persuasive and they have effective communication skills. So if you're this person and you like talking with people, collaborating with people, this role is definitely for you. Part role or the fourth skill in tech that doesn't require coding is technical writing. Technical writers are in charge of writing documentation, manuals for the products that they manage. You should be writing about what the product is, how the product can be used effectively by developers or anybody that wants to adopt the service of that product. This content can come in some forms like videos, documentation, code snippets, but are just trying to make documentations easier to read for people. People say technical writers don't really require an experience or a coding background, but I would say that if you want to become a technical writer, you should try having some coding experience.
experience or coding background. An example of what a technical writer would do is writing API documentations. Let's say an API comes out today and people want customers to know how this API can be used or developers in quotes. Technical writers, it's actually their job to write those API documentations in a very readable manner and written in plain English that anybody can understand, breaking down all those technical concepts into something that's more simple. The fifth is developer advocate or developer relations. A developer advocate is someone that acts as a middleman between the company and the budding developer community. The job of the developer advocate is to give feedback from the, from the developer community to the company on how a product can be better or how a product is being used, if there are any hassles using the product. So developer advocates are marketers, but as much as they are marketers, they are more of feedback givers. They tend to host speaking engagements or travel for speaking engagements or talks to educate people or to give people more information on how the product is can be beneficial to you or how the product can be used better. Developer advocates also train developers on how to use a particular product. Another role in tech is tech recruiters. People don't really talk about tech recruiters, but if you're someone that did human resources in school or you have an MSc in human resource management, HRM, being a tech recruiter can be good. You can work in a tech firm and help them source for talent, analyze these talents to make sure they're a good fit for the company, and also make sure that the interview process of these candidates happens seamlessly. So if you're someone that is good in HR, if you're someone that is good in finding talent in people, this role is definitely for you. You can work in a tech startup or a tech company to recruit tech talent as well. But as much as this role is really good, you have to do some research on what it takes for someone to be technically fit for a particular role. And lastly, customer relationship management, CRM. I know most people have heard of this role or most people haven't. This role involves managing customer interaction and customer engagement. So you're going to be using things like sales for CRM to track customer interactions, track customer behavior, and just to see how customers are interacting with a particular product or how they feel about the particular product. This role, you're going to be using a couple of software tools like I mentioned, like Salesforce, CRM. So guys, this is the end of this video. If you're someone that doesn't really like coding, I hope that you found a role that you can easily apply to and enjoy. If you found a role that you feel that connects with you the most please let me know in the comment section so it's your job to do more research on these roles to know the one that connects with you most hope you had fun watching this video and i hope you learned a thing or two don't forget to like comment in the comment section if you will be starting any career in the tech space with any of these roles that i've mentioned and also don't forget to subscribe and share with people that might need this bye